Thank you. And I give the call to the member for Monash. Deputy Speaker, it's always an honour to follow the member for Cowan. And I would say here's to the Daves and all the Daves of this parliament that uh, support us in our work in and outside the parliament uh, and put up with an awful lot on our behalf. Deputy Mayor. Deputy, we know. Deputy Speaker. That's not to go into Hansard. Deputy Speaker, um, I also congratulate you on your elevation to the position of Deputy Speaker. Um, it's a, 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 a proud position to hold and other people have gone on from your role to become the Speaker of the House. Um, but Deputy Speaker is just as important to the workings of this parliament uh, as is the Speaker because of the work that I know that you do. And, and having said that, can I say, as a member of parliament that has lost four election campaigns, two as a candidate and two as a member of parliament, and been a once or twice, um, I bleed for those people on both sides of the House, um, both sides of the election campaign that was just passed, that lost their seats. This is the cruel reality of politics, that expectations are dashed, um, um, careers are thrown in a heap, and it's often very hard for people to pick up the pieces. We don't have the structures or benefits as former politicians that we once had, uh, that were part of the package that you were offered as you came in as a parliamentarian. Those supports are no longer there. Um, in fact, when you lose out of this place, you are on your own. Um, so I do um, feel for, identify with all of those people that lost their seats at the last election. Uh, it's all right for us to come here and celebrate the place being full of those who won their seats at the last election campaign. But there are a lot of people feeling quite a bit of grief today um, because of the position they found themselves that they, they were not expecting. So I just send a message out to all of them. Deputy Speaker, for the whole of my career uh, in business, community and the parliament, one of my very special topics has been aged care. You know that, Deputy Speaker, you've heard me speak on it a thousand times. But we've never faced the crisis we face today. I don't blame the previous government. I don't blame the government before that. I don't blame the government before that. Because the last thing John Howard said to me before he lost his role was, Russell, don't come to me and ask for more money for aged care. 2007. Don't ask, because the exponential rise in the costs was dramatic. We're facing that today. I will speak on it further into the future but that we are in dramatic times, we're in unprecedented times, and governments of all persuasions are going to have to address this issue before it gets out of control.